Hey there, my name is Thomason, and today I will be discussing Val Hart Huntsman. So today's video will be a special video because I will be discussing Val Hart Huntsman by Chloe Gong. She's here, she's shiny, she's beautiful. And I will also be showing you guys a quick montage of the Val Hart Huntsman signing I went to in Frisco, Texas. Cue the montage in about T minus 10 seconds. I'm so excited to kind of show you guys what the event was like and all the people I met. And let's get right into this video. We're going to the event. <laughs> you look so good. How we do? So how excited are you? I am just so thrilled. I've never done anything like this before. So I just to be able to do it with my friend. My I love friend. it. You're going to be seeing my friends a lot more on the channel, guys. Came out with her adult sci-fi fantasy novel which we also have for purchase today please give us a very long very energetic and very exciting welcome to chloe gong So as you guys can see, we went to the Barnes & Noble Frisco location at the Stonebriar Center. The store was huge. It was like two floors. There's so many sights and sounds I wanted to take in, but I didn't have enough time to really take much. We went ahead and got our books and got the Q&A wristbands and the signing wristbands. My friend and I, Gracie, even went to grab some Japanese. And as you can see, I tried sushi for the first time. I didn't really care for it. It wasn't for me. I would love to try it again, maybe at another location. Um, but we went back to the store and I went ahead and wrote a little message for Chloe Gong because the store made it to where fans could leave messages for Chloe after the signing. After the Q&A, which was amazing, Chloe was hilarious. I, with my two friends, Gracie and Lauren, shout out to both of you. You guys were amazing. Literally the best. He stood in line for a bit and just kind of chatted, made some jokes, gossiped a little bit. So as you can see, I had a great time meeting Chloe Gong. I had a great time meeting the friends I made. Bringing my friend Gracie was so amazing. and I can't wait to have her and the rest of my book club be able to show up on this channel one day. Keep an eye out for future videos and content with them. Shout out to Julia and the Barnes & Noble Frisco location. You guys were great. I hope to go to more events that you guys host in the future. Shout out to Chloe Gong and Jessica S. Olson who moderated her event. Shout out to Gracie, to Lauren, to True Sloan, to Haley, the brilliant two writers I met. Shout out to Vi. It was so great to run into you again. Can't believe that we crossed paths again. And I'm so grateful to all the people I've met and all the friends I've made. And if you happen to see this video and you went at that tour, I hope you had a great time. So I actually finished this book the other day and I'm so happy that I finished this in time for this video because I kind of wanted to go into a bit of a discussion. How Heart Huntsman is the final book in the Secret Shanghai universe and the final Final book in the Fowley Fortune duet and it focuses on Rosalind and Orion. It is so amazing. I loved this book. It had all the epic action-packed finale vibes I was looking for. It was just non-stop from the first page. There was so much angst. There was so much emotion. There were so many moments where I was crying. I was laughing. The ending feels so well earned and well written and I can't believe that this series is over. Like these kids characters and the story means so much to me. They will always have a special place tucked away in my heart. And just shout out to Chloe Gong for being so brilliant and just creating such a vivid story. Characters that just are so diverse and so well-rounded. They really feel like real people. And she did a really good job of tying up all the loose ends of Foul Lady Fortune, but also these violent delights. There were a lot of Easter eggs. I just, I'm, I'm so, so satisfied with this book. This was definitely a five-star read. If you want to see more of my thoughts on this book there is a review posted on my goodreads i will also discuss it a little more in my october wrap-up november tbr video without further ado i am going to go ahead and show you guys my tier ranking of the characters in the shake shanghai universe so as you can see i have made a tier ranking template for the lead characters of the secret shanghai universe and unfortunately there were more characters that i did want to tier rank i'll go ahead and list the rest of them in the description box 
box below just because there's not that much fan art for these books yet. I didn't see fan art for characters such as Lorenz or Dalfang or Jimin. I didn't see anything. So I will have to just put a separate written tier ranking list in my description so you guys can know what I think about the supporting characters and antagonists and other characters in the Secret Shangri universe. Foremost, we have Juliet Tsai. Ah, Juliet. Ever since I first read these Violent Delights, Juliet was such a strong female character. I've seen a lot of critique on Juliet and honestly the way that people depict her is really frustrating to me because they kind of villainize her and I don't know I just love her she is so compassionate she's a hard work bad bitch she is just so compassionate but for Juliet instant god tier I mean come on she is Juliet she is just such a bad bitch she knows how to fight she knows how to kill she knows how to just get shit done she is there for the people that love her she's extremely loyal and she is just so empowering with herself and with the others around her and she loves she loves deeply and I just I love her so much I love her voice whenever I would read her and I was so glad to see her in Last Violent Call and Foul Heart Unspent one of Chloe Gong's best female characters. Next up we have Robo Montagov. Got here. Now I'm sorry I'm a little bit biased because I love Juliet and I just resonate more with female characters but Roma and her they were made for each other. They are. Whereas Juliet is more like outgoing. She's very like go for it all out there. He's more subdued and he's more introverted and he does the same thing that Juliet does. Like he also loves deeply and he's very loyal but he's more subdued and subtle and I appreciate that nuance about him. It adds a lot to their relationship dynamic and I just love him so much. I love him. I love him. They were made for each other and oh without spoiling the book there is something that happened at the end in the epilogue and the bonus epilogue in my edition I got. I'm tearing up thinking about it and I just <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it but they were made for each other and of course Roma is god tier. Next up we have Benedict Montagov. I love Benedict but I'm gonna have to put him in elite just because he's iconic. He's more than iconic like he is also very loyal and he loves his family and he cares for the people around him that are close to him and he will get shit done he don't care i love him so much don't get me wrong he's a great character i love him and marshall and their relationship dynamic and speaking of which marshall so i'm gonna have to put him above benedict he's still elite but marshall is just oh He's like soft boy core, but he's also just so like reliable and he is such a fighter. Like literally and metaphorically, he is a fighter. He will fight for you. He will do anything. I remember their dynamic in Our Violent Ends when Benedict thought that Marshall was dead and Marshall was just trying to protect him. And then when they finally reunited, oh, it was just so much. And seeing them in This Foul Murder and Last Violent Call solidified my opinion on Marshall. He's so witty. He's so funny. So sarcastic and I just love his sass and his just love for Benedict and for the others around him. Next up we have Rosalind. Unpopular opinion. I love Rosalind. I don't know what it is about her. Something about her I just I guess I resonate with. Similarly with what I said about Nesta Archer in when I talked about A Court of Silver Flames in one of my earlier videos. Rosalind is just that bitch. Even though she made the mistakes she made in these violent delights she really has such an incredible character arc and she is just so so loyal. Like she is a ride or die. I love Juliet. Like her and Rosalind are like some of my top favorite female protagonist than anything I've ever read. Something about Rosalind I just resonate with more personally and I still feel that way with Juliet. Something about Rosalind's character just resonate with it so much more than Juliet. And I love Juliet. Please don't hate me. If you see this and you're a Juliet fan, please don't come at me. But something about Rosalind is just, it just hits different. And for the girls that get it, you get it. And the girls that don't, it's okay, you don't. Next up we have Celia Lang and honestly, oh my god. <laughs> I am gonna put her, I'm gonna put her in God tier just because she's also iconic and I love the representation. All these characters, there's just such good queer representation like Celia is trans, Rosalind is demisexual. I just love Celia as a character. She's very strong-willed, she's very loyal, and she will get the job done, but she also is very much willing to just be there for the people that she loves. And honestly, all these people, all these characters are super loyal. I just feel like that says so much about Chloe Gong as a person 
person like she's just a loyal ride or die celia is just such a bad bitch like oh and her and rosalind relationship with each other and with juliet has just always been one of my favorites of the book the sisterhood element love that's there and the passion that they share and celia i love celia i love that she will see bullshit she'll call you out on your bullshit and she won't hesitate to do so and i love that about her next up we have alisa Montagova. honestly Oh my god, I don't know where to put her. I love her. She's definitely got to here. I'm gonna put her above Roma. Listen, she is sneaky. She's honestly a genius. Like, she's smart. And then these violent delights to it. To know she was so young and already, like, learning certain things. And just being so intelligent in her espionage. And just her methods of gathering intel for the White Flower Gang. But she's also very take charge. And she's no nonsense. And she's so unpredictable. And she's just so fascinating. And I just love her character. She is kind of... Of the heart of the Secret Shanghai universe. She's what connects everyone. Seeing her growth from these Violent Delights to Foul Heart Huntsman has been impeccable, again, for all of these characters, definitely, but especially Elisa. Just seeing her come of age and come into her own and figure out who she is, but also be true to herself and not compromise any of her values or her personality and just being who she is and being true to herself and listening to what she has to do and not expecting anyone to even try because she will definitely do what she wants to do and she will escape if you try to stop her because that's at least someone to go but for you so she's definitely got tier and i just love her so much next up we have my man i love this man i love him so much and honestly i love him I don't know what it is about him. I just, I love his humor, his passion, his work ethic, and I just love him. And Orion and Rosalind were made for each other. Orion is like everything I look for in a man. He is independent and he knows how to be emotionally vulnerable. And he's also just so funny and so brilliant. I totally get why Rosalind fell for him because a girl, I would too. Like he's literally a rare specimen of men. He is just so, so, so amazing and so kind and so passionate. He will let you do your thing and he'll do his, but he'll work with you. And I just love that. He is literally my type. Talking about him and finally doing this tier ranking has really revealed that he is probably my favorite. I love Rosalind. Don't get me wrong, but Orion Hong. I still feel so bad that I mispronounced his name as Orion for so long, but Chloe Kong, thank you for inventing him. He's my crush. He's my fictional crush. I love Orion so much. I could talk about him forever, but I love Orion. Next up, we have Oliver Hung. Mm, I'm gonna put him in likable. Only because, like, he's still iconic, but he's not elite or god tier. I just feel like, say, if I was friends with Celia, right, and, like, I knew all these people, like, I wouldn't hate him, and I would like him, and I would get along with him, but we wouldn't really talk that much. You know what I mean? He's that kind of guy, and I I do love him as a character. He is so hardworking. I'm not gonna lie though, it was a little frustrating because literally I was with Celia the whole time when she was like, why don't you just communicate? Like, why can't you just be open? Because that was a little frustrating to read. But seeing his character arc in All Heart Huntsman and how he finally opened up to Celia over time and also to his family, it really paid off well and it made me root for them even more. It made the payoff worth it. But Oliver Hong is just out of all these characters, he's likable to me. He's iconic too, but I would put him in likable just because he wasn't my favorite but I did enjoy his character and what he offered. Next up we have Phoebe Hong. She's iconic. I like her. She's not my favorite and I wouldn't say that she's elite. Like you don't know what to expect from her. She's kind of like Elisa. Like she kind of parallels Elisa in a way. Whereas Elisa is arguably the heart of the whole secret Shanghai universe. Phoebe kind of shares that heart with her because Phoebe is just very much similar to her but they're very distinctive. Don't get me wrong. Phoebe is kind of her foil. Phoebe is literally unpredictable like whereas Elisa like will just do stuff and they're like okay we can expect this from you like you just go off and do your own thing and you'll come back and we trust you because you got it. Phoebe is more like you would have never thought right that Phoebe was capable of this or that she would hide these things to protect the people around her. Seeing her as priest I did not see that coming my jaw was on the floor. I just love her especially in Foul Heart Huntsman. Really enjoyed her in Foul Lady Fortune but seeing more of her as a character and her growth in Foul Heart Huntsman was really good because she's figuring out who she is as a woman as well and just also struggling with her relationship with her family she doesn't know who she is because of that and just seeing where she ends up at the end of Foul Heart Huntsman is really satisfying and I just love her so much she's definitely iconic. The last character I will be tier ranking is Silas. Silas Wu. I'm gonna put iconic. 
I'm gonna put him below Phoebe though, because here's the thing about Silas. He is very much like a nerd <laughs> and a geek, but he's also very underestimated and he's very underrated. But then he proves himself constantly time and time again. I'm not gonna lie, without spoilers, if you've read Foul Heart Huntsman, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But chapter 37 had me floored. I really thought Silas did something that might have changed and altered my perception of him as a character. But I also didn't expect to see the payoff from that later on in the book. And that made me respect him even more as a character. Him and Phoebe's relationship and seeing how it grew was really, really interesting. And I was invested. I was like, how are y'all gonna end up together? Like, why don't y'all just, just talk, kiss, hang out, go out on a date, stop stressing each other out. <laughs> like, you're stressing me out out stressing each other out. I really enjoyed him as a character and he's definitely iconic. And that is my tier ranking of all the lead main ensemble cast of Secret Shanghai. I love all these characters. They're all really well written and they're well developed. Also, since I'm on tier ranking as a subject, I will go ahead and put Foul Heart Huntsman on my serious tier ranking. I think I will go ahead and place Foul Heart Huntsman. She's going in God tier and she's going above Foul Lady Fortune. I love Loved Foul Heart Huntsman. It was everything I wanted and more, and it just, oh. It was such a worthy conclusion of the Secret Shanghai universe, and I'm still very much of my book hangover. I loved it so much. Also, after reading Foul Lady Fortune, I think that I will honestly put the Foul Lady Fortune duet. I'm gonna put it in God tier, but I'm gonna put it below Akatar and above Harry Potter. It elevated these violent delights. It elevated the Secret Shanghai universe. And these are books I definitely will always have a special place in my heart for. And I look forward to rereading them again in the future. That concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel and for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also click the bell near my subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can get notifications when I first upload new videos. Love you guys so much. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope you also had a great week and that you have an even better weekend. I will see you in the next video soon. Bye!